neighbors, welcome back to another video of Cooking with Neighbors. It is I, Jerry Ellen, and look what I got on today. Cape Breton Tartan. Yes, I do. So anyway, I'm starting to do some dishes from the Maritimes, starting with Cape Breton, where I grew up. So I want to do a Cape Breton oat cake for you all. A lot of uh, influence from Scot Scotland and the UK and whatnot in Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia means New Scotland, by the way. Now there's Cape Breton oat cakes and there's the ones on the mainland in Halifax. So I have a few different recipes and today I'm going to share the Cape Breton one. And during the series, I am going to wear this apron made by uh, my husband's aunt, Warna. So thank you, Aunt Warna. Okay. In a bowl, I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, okay? I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of oats. One teaspoon of salt. And a half a cup of brown sugar, lightly packed. And I'm going to add, I'll tilt you down so you can see, half cup of shortening. I am going to use my pastry cutter to blend it all together and till it becomes crumbs. You can use your fingers. I'm just using the pastry cutter. You can use fork, you can use two knives, whatever. You just want it to be crumbs, little crumbs. Uh, the, the difference in the, the oat cakes of the mainland and uh, Cape Breton Island are the main, the Cape Breton Island is a little bit more crispy and the mainland is a little bit more chewy. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 177, 175, 177 degrees Celsius. Okay. This water was boiling. I'm just going to reboil it for a second. Okay, set that aside for a second. This is a teaspoon of baking soda. And four tablespoons of boiling water. And just dissolving that and put in this. We're going to moisten our crumbs now. Use my hands. They're clean. It's a crummy mixture. It's uh, very loose. Just want it to start to come together. I'm going to put a little bit of flour and a few oats on my, on my surface for rolling it. Just the dusting. Just want to get the you feel some dry parts just kind of get the uh, shortening and the wet crumbs touching some of those. I soon ditched this rolling pin because I prefer to press on it with my hands. They're delicate. So that picture up in the corner, that's uh, the Cape Breton Highlands. I just thought I'd share with you. I'm going to show a couple of pictures uh, during the video of uh, Cape Breton. Traditionally, they're uh, squares and triangles. 
And a lot of people cut circles because they got cookie cutters that are circles. So that's what I'm doing. I gotta get my baking sheet. That's recording. Thanks. Now that is the big fiddle down on the boardwalk of Sydney. Uh, my husband actually helped build a portion of that boardwalk. I grew up in Sydney, uh, Nova Scotia, and Graham grew up in Waterford, Nova Scotia. Flour in your cookie cutter can help too. And if a few crumbs come away from your cookie, just press them back in there and that works fine. So <laughs> my husband's picking on me here. I went over and dampened my hands and I came back and just pulled all the oats back together. Throughout uh, Cape Breton, uh, there's so many pretty waterfalls all the way through Nova Scotia, actually, there's many of them. And another thing that there's many of in Nova Scotia, Cape Breton Island and the mainland, Together, there's over 200 beaches. So if you're ever that way, go check some of them out. The whole province is very pretty. Compared to the others. I'm gonna pop these in. Keep an eye on them because they cook up quickly for like close to 15 minutes. Now it did take the 15 minutes exactly really in my oven. A light tan color, little toasted. If you like toasted oats, you're gonna love these. Let's do a thumbnail first before I pick up one with a cup of tea. <laughs> They're still a little hot, but. You should let them cool off. I'll take this little one. Leave the pretty ones for the fam. So with this recipe, you can get nine to 12, depending on the size of the cutter you're using and how thin you want it, okay? Because you can go to a quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch, half inch, all those sizes you can do. So let's have a little bit with some tea, why don't we? And a little bit of marmalade. You can put, uh, drizzle some chocolate on it, dip it in chocolate, melted chocolate. You can jam, put jam on it, you can Nutella, whatever you want. You can eat it with nothing. But I'm gonna have some with some marmalade. Okay. And they're gonna be a little, little, uh, when they cool off, they'll get a little bit crispy, but there's still some chew to it. Mm. Now that's the taste of home, see? Isn't that good? Right easy? Not too many ingredients? I have so many recipes, I can't wait to share them with you all. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss I don't out on any. Click the notification bell and share this out. And I have recipes, I'm gonna do recipes, not just from Canada, from everywhere, but I'm gonna do a lot of recipes uh, throughout the Maritimes, at least once a week, showcasing a recipe from the East Coast to the West Coast of Canada. Have a tasty pool. Peace, love, God bless. Bye.